live broadcasting from the heart of the National Forest for Northwest Leicestershire. This is Hermitage FM. Uh, good evening, I'm uh, John Sinclair, and with me is uh, Kevin Gorn, local music show uh, between now and uh, 7 o'clock, and we've already got guests in the studio coming up uh, a bit later on, about half six, midnight wire will be here. We'll also talk about uh, bands called Clubs and uh, an artist called Kenneth J. Nash. But first of all, Kevin. Yes, indeed. Here with us in the studio are the Tennysons. Hey, up. Oh, oh, yeah. right. hey, up. Welcome, chaps. Nice to see you both again. Thank you very much. It's nice yourself. to see you. you. Yeah. You're still looking quite good. Yeah, we are. For, uh, after a day's work. Faces for the radio, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know the feeling. Yes, I know the feeling. Would you just quickly like to introduce yourselves and what you do in the band? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Ryan. I'm the singer-songwriter, guitarist. I'm Ben. I'm the drummer. I'm Max. I'm on the bass. Is there anybody else in your band there? Is it a three-piece? Three-piece, three yes. Piece. Yes, I remember that. Yes. Wow. That, 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 now, that always seems to me like... Um, You've got a lot of work to do individually. Yeah, we couldn't get anyone else that wanted to be in a band, so... Right. B- big noise for free people. I was going to say, yeah. it's massive it's noise, in, isn't it? Inspired by Nirvana, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. yeah I thought I'd made that up. It's yeah. yeah, <coughs> a good story. Just not yeah. the long hair in that, yeah. No, that's right. Well, we'll talk about your favourite interview some other time, John. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so your music, I always think it's... Um, it's, well, indie rock with a bit of swagger and a bit of attitude. Is that right? Yeah, I think yeah. you got it spot on, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't think we... We never aimed for a sound. It was just, just how it happened when we got together, really. I, I wrote a few acoustic tunes, and then we went in, this stu- in the rehearsal rooms just just because, basically, Max couldn't play anything. We had to oh. sort of do that <laughs> sound, but... No, I, I, I wouldn't have it any other way, so yeah. it sounds well. It just mixed like, different music influences, isn't it, really? Yeah. Like, all, like, different stuff, and, well, it's just a different sound, yeah. isn't it, really? It's and just our own, our own sound, really. It yeah. is, I, I agree. And you're always really entertaining to watch, and you pull a massive crowd as well. I mean, I've seen you numerous times, I think. At, yeah. Uh, did you play at Strawberry Fields? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, not, this, not this time, the time before yeah. we did, yeah. Yeah, because I introduced you on stage. Yeah, you did. I was yeah, doing the right, DJ, yeah. wasn't I? Yeah, you yeah, did, I remember, John. Yeah. Brilliant. I think I'll, I'll <laughs> the introduction we've ever had. Ever. <laughs> I, I, I was a bit drunk. I woke up with your number in my phone the next day. I'm like, who's that? And I got, got a message about an interview. I thought, oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah. You know, if you, I didn't realise that. Actually. Oh yeah, I, I, I you, you well, were yeah. yeah, mate. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, always, I mean, even because I think I saw you at your first gig. What was it about? Was it three years ago yeah. now? Yeah, the Abbey. That's it, and that, yeah. that was packed as well. Yeah, we were a bit worried in the daytime. We were all sat in there like, oh, no one's coming. And all of a sudden, a few people turned up. Thought, oh, this will this will do. And all of a sudden, it was just even. You mm. couldn't get couldn't get in the place off the people. So we drank it out of beer, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was the fans. I think that was us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's your opening gig. Um, and it was that full, then uh, did you sort of like worry, think, crikey, you know, how can we top this? Or have you topped it? Uh, I mean, yeah, we, I, f- I don't think we worried about that so much, did we? We just took it as it comes, but uh, we went away for a bit, we lost a drummer and got a new, this is a fair drummer like, so <laughs> finally found someone that can put up with us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we got a new drummer and uh, we played a big relaunch gig at the Sound House and that was another packed one, weren't it? Sold it yeah, out, yeah, that was brilliant gig as well. That's before we even recorded anything. So, Crikey. Oh, how was the recording process like for you though? Because uh, you do like to enjoy the odd swig. Uh, so, do, <laughs> but are, are you strict on yourselves when you're recording? Yeah, yeah, we behave ourselves. Like, uh, we, we like we have a few beers, but when it, when we've got to do the work, we get we get yeah, get on with it. So, is it you that organises that? Does one of you have to organise? Uh, that, that's Benny. He's the sensible one. The sensible yeah. one yeah. <laughs> He does look quite sensible, actually. <laughs> Even with a hat on. Yeah, keep him in line. I have to do it, sometimes. Actually. But yeah, 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 it works, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't, think, uh, I don't yeah, think we'd be recording. doing this interview now if it weren't for him, so... <laughs> we'd be I in think, a ditch somewhere. <laughs> 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 I think you're right. I think, I think most, most fans think of somebody yeah. like that, like a mother figure or somebody yeah. to... Yeah, mom, they go. Mom, mom, yeah. Yeah. Mother ben's figure. certainly the mother figure. Just note that one. Good to get into his arms after an odd day's work, you know I did wonder if he was going to get annoyed and not to be the father though, <laughs> that's alright right, well, but, but what about the songwriting though does that come from are you leading that's that too that's or? all Ryan it's Ryan yeah, 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 yeah. I, I write you. I've been writing a few years about four years now I was writing a bit before we was in the band and then uh, I really started as we took off I, t- I told him we've got to do it properly now and then just went from there and I write, I write a lot at home at work and stuff 
Oh, before I get in trouble with the bosses, write a bit on a piece of paper <laughs> and yeah. sneak off to the toilet to write a bit more. But and then uh, we just check it into the practice room and put it all down there. Yeah, and it comes out mm. magic, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's hard work in the practice room, but it pays off in it in the end. Yeah. It's just Long hours, and but you kind of accept that part of the process, I guess. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, right, yeah. It's like two nights in the week, and you get your head down, and you're trying to make it happen, don't we? Really? Okay, well, let's hear one of those songs then. A sinking ship. Would you like to tell us a little bit about, it or is it about a? Is it? Yeah, it's. Uh, this one's about when you wake up with an hangover, and it's just that <laughs> when you get when you when you start sweating and thinking about things you've done the night before, the horrors like you can remember. Yeah, yeah. Whose phone number? Yeah, yeah. Who's the hell's John Sinclair? Literally <laughs> 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 deleted it till I got a text. So I'm like, ah, I'm panicking now. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go then. That was brilliant, though. I, was, I enjoyed that. That was yeah, really, mate. really, really, really catchy, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> number one, number one in the years' time. It's one, it's one of those records I, I put it on instantly. Like I think you know, with some records, you know, in, within ten or fifteen seconds, you're going to like it. And yeah. I did. That is it. So well done, well done for that. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much. Is that going to be kind of? It, 
so you obviously got a set sorted out, I guess, for is this Saturday you're playing at yeah, Sound Yeah, exactly, yeah. So is that, where are you going to work that in somewhere? Are you, you going to leave it to last? Is, that'll, that'll it, is that a decision thing. you've got to make? That's, that'll be in the middle. Yeah, it's, get, it's the getting longer and longer now, so we, we, <laughs> we don't want to check any out. They're all good, so. We could be on for about three hours. Yeah. You got any that's, <laughs> that's mainly talking, though, as well, yeah. in between. Uh, have you got a support as well? We've got two supports. We've got a band called Revival from Leicester. And also another band called Ibisco, I think. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. Right, oh. okay. Are they another local band? Yeah, they're both yeah, local bands, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. God, that'll be brilliant at the Sound House, I imagine that'll be hot and sweaty. Yeah, we've not it? we've not played there, that's probably our favourite venue, we've yeah. had our best gigs there. We've not really played there for over a year now, so... The, the last gig we did in Leicester was at This Feeling, weren't it? At the Cookie Jar. Yeah. Apart from that, we've done nothing, so mm. we're expecting... A Obviously, a big homecoming. We're expecting a yeah. big crowd, so is there a start the bar up. Yeah, <laughs> is, is there a reason then you haven't played Leicester for a while, or just, just got just a bit of yeah. out, I, think, really? oh. I think when we put the single out, we got a lot of interest from London promoters, which is so we focused on that a bit and tried to get out of town a bit more. So well, some artists coming here say they want to get out of town and can't. Uh, so it's kind of the opposite for you, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but problem. you can do too much of Leicester as well, I suppose. Yeah, that, you can. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, it gets a bit repetitive in, at the end. Like a lot of people who, who, who would be there week in, week out, it then got to the point of, oh, I went there last week. Well, people can't mm. afford it, can they, all the time? So mm. No. You have to meet halfway off like, sometimes, don't you? It's yeah. hard as well because you want to learn your trade and play every week, but yeah. you've got to give and take, ain't you? You can't expect people to come every week. So, yeah. so just how, how does Leicester out? compare with London then to play? Um, I, th I think I don't think there's any difference in where you play at all. I just like there's different fan bases, obviously, but I think Leicester. Oh, I love playing in Leicester. Yeah. To be honest, because mm -hmm. that, that's. For you, Leicester, own, isn't it? Yeah. My I think we've met we've met a few people in London as well. We? We've met a lot of people, new people that we can play with and just get generally get on with. It's like yeah. it's just nice to get somewhere else and meet new people in the in the music industry and get on with them. Like so, yeah, it's kind of spreading the word. Yeah, you know, it's going to get you on the map a bit, isn't it? As well, when you get gigs in different places. Yeah, yeah I think I especially think that when you've got new material like you have now. Yeah, yeah, it's coming thick and fast now. The new material, I think. Since we wrote it, since we've done the single, it's just every song seems to get better and better, and we've more and more, doesn't it? So, yeah. so how many have you recorded so far? There, it's just these two, uh, or we, we've we've had what? demos before, but we've done two proper yeah, singles. Yeah, the, the, what we've done well, properly is them them two. We're hoping to get back in the studio soon and start working towards the album and stuff. Soon so. be an album coming your way. Mm, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a threat. The way <laughs> <laughs> it was. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, that'd be good. Uh, I'm looking, <laughs> I, I, I am taking them seriously. I'm looking forward to the album already, actually. Well, that, will that be like early next year then? Because most people sort of seem, to, most bands seem to record around this time of year and then. Yeah, we, I think we're recording again soon, but uh, I think it might probably towards the end of next year, to be honest. Right. Just want to get it perfect, don't yeah, we? Get it. Yeah, time, do, do you yeah. take complete control of it? Do you have somebody listening from the outside who comes in and advises, or yeah, is it completely you? A couple of people come with us, yeah, like to, to recording, and we, like they do have a say. I mean, mm. there has been people that have come with us before. I'm not going to mention we, any names, but they have they have told us, oh no, do it like that. We usually disagree with them we anyway. Do disagree, yeah. but then it, it ends up being their way. Yeah, and it works yeah, out better yeah. sometimes. So are, are they like random people or fans? Oh yeah, or? Just, yeah, just, yeah just, just a man. One of them yeah. early on the yeah. way here, mate. Yeah, he's coming. Playing ten cans. <laughs> That's how we've got so many fans, isn't it? Just oh, right, just, yeah. <laughs> just pick them up as you go around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with that, <laughs> any old, uh, that young lad out there on his push <laughs> bike. <laughs> Kidnap him. Whipping chains. <laughs> in the Hitting his mate with a chain. Okay, that's brilliant. So, can you tell us yeah, about this weekend's gig? Obviously, well, you've told us who's going to be playing there. Yeah. Uh, the Sound House. How much is it to get in? It's a fiver, which is a bargain if you get tickets mm. from us before. Which you can, if you look on our Facebook, you can get in touch with us on there. We'll sort you out with tickets. So it's only <coughs> six quid on the door anyway. So. And uh, Kevin's always saying how good the sound system is in there. Oh, it's fantastic. yeah, it's brilliant. The sound yeah, is brilliant. Yeah, and well, the lighting as well. Yeah, like I said, we've had oh, probably our best gigs in there. Hundred yeah, percent best gig mm. ever in the sound house. Yeah, but I can see it. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a wild one. To be fair, yeah, it's been a while. We've sold a few <laughs> tickets. Put it that way. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's a good venue as well. Uh, I'm interested in the title of uh, 
the next song we're going to play? Where'd you get your money from? Uh, yeah. What inspired that then? This is one of the uh, the early songs. It's about three year old now. Oh, is it? We started yeah. the band first, first ever set. This was it. I could just it was just one day at work. I remember being getting the ump at work because I went on Facebook and a few of my mates were out, were out on the beer and on a like a Tuesday afternoon it was red hot and I just oh, it does my head in so. <laughs> them sort of people they always manage to always manage to be out in the pub no jobs but they're always always out you run out on the first night and they're always always there all week so it just so winds you up so. the question yeah <laughs> where do you get your money from yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah. let's play the track shall we here we go along to I suggest there. Where'd you get your money from? Yeah, like that one. Uh, good hook line on that one. Hey, I can I can see I can see us singing it on the way home, John. Where'd you get your money from? Mm. It, cause it, you're <laughs> heading by the end of the week, though. <laughs> no, it won't. You'll be sat in the pub <laughs> by the end of the week singing. Okay, singing. Where'd you get your money from? <laughs> shirt off and everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't want to see that. <laughs> you, you're fake I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a bit old for that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, Max, it's it's pretty cold out there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so what's this with your shorts and all that? Well, the thing is, my my Mrs. Jess, I love her dearly, don't get me wrong, but every time I've got something to do, she'll put my jeans in the wash and now I'm freezing. I've got (laughs) icicles hanging off my nose and... (laughs) <laughs> he's, he's been wearing he's been wearing these dead tight w- white vests as well. I think he's been playing like Camden it. too much. Yeah. <laughs> How about stashing a pair of sh- jeans away somewhere where she can't get to them? Like that. She's got to iron them though, isn't she? Yeah. I can't do it. I can't oh, do it. Domestic, it sounds like domestic bliss. To be honest, oh, but yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, let's talk about the soundhouse. Give it a plug again for the weekend. The soundhouse. It's uh, doors open at seven thirty. Saturday. Saturday night. The 18th of October. So, have you done? Do you mu- much rehearsal for this? Or no, we're, you feel we're like re- you rehearsed already. We've rehearsed a little bit yeah. for this, yeah. Yeah. Confident. We were in there Sunday yeah, for a few hours, sweating it out, <laughs> doing, getting ready for it. In fact, if you're going to be there, there's going to be a brand new song that nobody's ever heard. 
few of them. Ever. I think right, really? Oh. Yeah. I mean, there's a few there's songs, but people have heard them. Potential single as well. I think this one might be the next single. So. Yeah, and it is brand new. Uh, do you get this? Do you get the tracks on things like iTunes and stuff like that? Do yeah, you well, yeah. Like that. Async and shipping, and they're where already you get your money from is uh, both on iTunes. Okay, yeah. so if you heard them just now, you can download them. Yeah, yeah get, get buying it. Yeah, buy yeah, it just yeah. so we can get funding for the next one. Well, yeah. This, this program recommends that you download them tonight. Well, definitely. If, if you don't download it tonight, if, if, <laughs> whoever's I, listening, I, I, I will you, find out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you two still do, even though you got the CD now. I don't. I hope you're not copying it. Yeah. Still, you got to go no, it. I just put it on here for the program. Well, what yeah, can I do? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's a, the privilege of doing this, I guess. Uh, but thanks very much for coming in and the tracks. But um, I'm kind of a bit of a shame of doing something else Saturday night now, unless I can get out of it. Yeah, but we'll, see. Like we'll see. What about Facebook page? Because it's slightly unusual. I keep forgetting this, but I think it's www.facebook.com forward slash Tennyson's England. That's it. I've got just, it. Just I'll search for it anyway, you'll find it. Yeah, if yeah. you put Tennyson's into search, it yeah. comes up anyway. We've got yeah, fat like likes anyway, so get a like first. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, great to see you guys again. Thanks Thank very you, much. Mate, nice Thank, you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Midnight Wire on the way. I got a message to say they're not too far away now. Uh, before that, though, um, we got a, a song by uh, somebody called Clubs. Now, Kevin, tell us how you came across this. Oh, I love Clubs. Um, I came across them because a few years ago, while I was reviewing for uh, Music in Leicester online music magazine, um, they sent me along to review a band called uh, what was it Panda Youth? They were called back then. Um, absolutely fantastic. A little bit, a little bit different to your usual stuff. I really enjoyed it. And now they've they've matured nicely, and they call themselves Clubs. And we're about to hear one of their songs. Um, but they've got a gig, uh, it's not this weekend, it's next weekend on Friday 24th of October at the Cookie, Crumbling Cookie in town. So it'll be nice and compact and probably quite hot and sweaty knowing them. So um, so yeah, so I'd get along to that if I were you and, um, and here's one of their songs. It's called Carry You. Nobody else has to know 
Uh, that's uh, clubs, and they're playing where, Kevin? And it was a week on Friday, I think you said, wasn't it? Yep, they're playing at the Crumbling Cookie. Crumbling Cookie, a week on Friday if you want to see them and have a bit of a, a bop around. Midnight Wire are in the building. Uh, downstairs will be in the studio uh, uh, very, very shortly. Uh, looking forward to that. Well, have not been sent any materials? I'm hoping they'll bring a CD in or something, but I've got some of their stuff here. Yes, or he might do something a little bit acoustic. He might do, he might do live. Alex is a bit like that, isn't oh, he? Oh, yes, he, he is. likes his live stuff. Uh, but if you just tuned in and you missed the Tennyson's, uh, just a reminder that uh, there's a podcast this programme will be available in a few days' time, and you can catch up with all the programmes on our Facebook site. Yep, which is www.facebook.com forward slash and then you type in local music show and the number one. And then you'll get to our Facebook page. If okay. you give it a like as well, that'd be great. Yeah, give it a Thank like. You. Give it a like. Give it a yeah. like. Okay, we're just going to have another track from uh, a guy called Kenneth J. Nash, which is. Oh, yes. Oh, it's, uh, what sort of folk is it again? It's a uh, dark folk. Um, a, cha- a chap I'm going to see tonight, actually. I'm supporting him at the Glastonbury Budget Audition down in the shed in Yeoman Street downtown. Um, so if any of our listeners, if they like this song, um, if you pay particular attention to the lyrics, are quite dark and meaningful. Um, if you like it, you can always pop along to the shed tonight. He's on at about half past eight. Um, and you can actually vote for him as well if you tell Kev on your, when, you, when you go into the shed tell him you want to vote for Kenneth Nash and uh, and that'll give him a vote and it'll help him um, to play at Glaston Budget next year. Okay, uh, if you could be so kind, is the track we're going to play Kenneth J. Nash.
Okay, that's uh, Kenneth J. Nash, and if it could be, if you could be so kind, and Kevin, you're going to see him tonight. I am. You're going to have to be very chilled and have a candle, probably, and stuff like that. Yeah, that would be good, actually. Yeah, they sometimes do that in the shed as well, to get a nice uh, atmosphere going. So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be a good night. There's also other bands as well performing. Um, but he's on first as usual uh, there's always lots of bands at the shed for auditions yeah. uh, for uh, Glaston Budget 2015 that's the one really 2015 there's no denying year. your math, mathematical yes, skills yes I, I, I can add up almost <laughs> uh, add one uh, Midnight Wire good evening hello, hey, hello. hello. nice to see you again yes it's been, it's it's been a little while it's it? been ages actually um, it has been ages been, uh, non- we've been non-stop it seems um, but yeah, uh, haven't you yeah. I've seen you Oh, so, uh, jam and a couple of weeks ago and now I know you're Alex. Yes. So who uh, uh, remind me of the guys' other names? I'm Nick. Nick. And I'm Jamie. Nick and Jamie. Okay, that's the lineup. Don't believe them. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always have to believe you, but then you pull a cheeky face. Yeah. And I'm not there sure you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it does that, doesn't it? Right. But uh, just tell us briefly why you're here. Um. Well, we're plugging our album, really. Um. I mean. Um, been um, busy this year I mean actually we've been busy this year writing stuff for our second album as well because we've had our first album ready for actually quite a while but oh, lots right. of the work we've done this year has been um, shaping it so that we can release it um, as well as we can really um, hang on a minute so this is your debut album or second album it is our debut album yes oh right it but is our debut album material um, for your second that album that seems amazing well we've, we've pretty much I mean we've worked everything out for actually probably about four or five albums or something stupid like that um, we've done about that and we're shaping the second album so that when we release our debut album we've actually got something instead of waiting for two or three years um, like our first album our debut album we can actually go straight into a second record which I think will be great um, you know we've spent a year shaping this first album so that we can release it properly and it'd be great having the second album there ready so that we can yeah I think I've had e- into it. I think I've had uh, EPs from you in the past pretty much a fairly yep. consistent basis I think. yes yeah, yeah. Um, yeah we've always we've always been busy writing and recording um, so it's, it's trying to make an album glue I think and I think we've done that on this first album haven't we I've, I now I'm, uh, I'm kind of interested in whether the other guys get a chance to talk with you in the, in the van. <laughs> I know. I'm, well, I'm kneeling, John. I, I, I can't really move. I can't swivel around like you on your spinny chairs. You know, these office chairs. No, Go on, Nick. You, 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 you kneel. Really for a minute. When you're at home, you never, you never really talk. He never talks at <laughs> oh, home. Right, yeah, yeah, really. No, can you just get near? <laughs> if you're going to talk, you have to get nearer the microphone. So is it the case when you sing, because obviously Alex is a singer, yes. is it the case that you guys would like to sing, or you're supposed to sing, you just don't get uh, Jamie and Arch, Jamie the guitarist, <laughs> and uh, Arch the bassist that do vocals as well. Um, I'm unfortunately not gifted with right. the talent of being able to sing like Alex is. He is, he's just lazy, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I work the oddest, I'm the drummer. And Alex lets you get the words out. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. No, it's all about people. It's all about. Let's be honest. It's all about people fitting in where they feel comfortable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I think I think we managed that quite well. There was there was actually a great example. We are um, for another radio station, and um, we did an acoustic session, and we asked Nick, "Go on, Nick. This is your chance to shine. (laughs) You know, do some backing vocals." I I think it it came it came out of time um, when he came in. And he didn't half give it some welly. You know, I mean. You listen back to this song. I mean, it, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm uh, surprised it's not on YouTube Some somewhere. But, uh, well, I I, yeah. I actually sing with a choir, uh, which is I, I hide behind the choir. The rock choir. Anyway, oh no, that's great. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. I've, done, uh, I've done rock choirs before. Yeah, so yeah. I'm actually more confident singer than I thought I ever would be. But it is a qu- it's a confidence thing, though, isn't it? Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think quite, I think quite I think more. I think more people just don't know how to use their voice. I yeah, I think that's, that's true. Actually, I more think. It, yeah, I, I agree. I think you've, you've got to be proud when you're singing. Um, as soon as you start shaking, you yeah, well, uh, you've lost. But the instructor, you, know, um, you go through the various exercises uh, first vocally, push it to to get yourself in the right kind of condition to do it yeah. properly. Yeah, and that's that's actually quite important. I didn't realise how important that was actually. Do you warm up like that? I certainly do. I've, I've actually um, I've been ill for the last couple of weeks. Um, it's not a bowler, don't worry. No. Like, you know, it's <laughs> fine. Um, I, I thought it was, you know. I was, the only thing I needed was the bloodshot eyes, and I think, you know, then I'd have, you know, there been something that could say otherwise. But uh, no, I'm all right now. But um, no, especially when you're ill and, you know, you're tired, um, you, you do need to warm up, you know. 
you've got to take care of your voice. It's my, it's so my you, instrument. You, you yeah, do those like. vocal exercises then before a gig. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Lots of humming. Lo- lo- lots of um, facial expressions that don't look that pleasant as well. Right. I don't know about that. John. Yeah, that's what it gets. I don't know what that's you're the, doing. That's the first part of our <laughs> stage. That's what we do. We all stand there. Yeah, and yeah. Think yeah, I think you're <laughs> part, <laughs> cartoon characters. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you're going to do an acoustic song in the middle of a couple of tracks. That's what we're going to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So we got the first track we've got is called uh, Running Forever. Is this to do with the Olympics or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about me trying to get away from Alex. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> when he's talking to me. Honest, you. yeah. <laughs> Well, tell us about it. This, this isn't a new song, is it? Um, I think I've heard it. Well, actually, it's, um, well. it's the very first song Second. I actually sat down and wrote with Arge. Um, Second? Honey, wasn't it? First one? That was the first one I wrote, oh. Honey was. But um, Running Forever was the first one that um, I sat down and wrote a track with somebody else. Um, and... Uh, it's actually, yeah. uh, it's um. In fact, you can try and work out what it's c- okay, what it's, let's just what it's play about, it and then you can try and work out what it's about. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Midnight White and Running Forever, which has got to be about <laughs> trying to get home after you've had a few drinks or something like that. Or oh, just, what a, ge- or what a guess, John. Or, or, yeah. just, or just running. Because <laughs> <laughs> so running away from your missus, your ex. Running for, yeah, it could be anything, yeah, yeah, you know. Or running away from the studio after being uh, being on our show. Or running from... No, you, know, no, you no, never know. No, they ran too Running much. here, or running it, here, yeah, you know. Here. We, are, we always leave a fine line, you know. It's what, in fact, that's what Midnight was about, really. Um... I'm not elaborating on that. The <laughs> second uh, album will tell you more about why we're called Midnight Wire. I was going to um, ask that question. Something about <laughs> that. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll be able. You should be able to work it out. Anyone who uh, not, likes their history. Oh, well, okay, I'm going to think about uh, that one as well. You're giving me too much to think about tonight. Hey, yeah, good. You? Which reminds me about the name of your album, actually. I have to look that up on uh, Crossing the Rubicon. Wikipedia. Yeah. Yeah, that is actually a name of a river, isn't it? In yes, yeah, I mean it was, uh, the idea of it is, um, I think this represents the album incredibly well. Actually, um, you know, financially especially, I mean, we've spent so much money on recording and um, trying to get this released um, as well as we can. Um, the idea of it is, um, I think it was Julius Caesar when he was crossing over um, back from his conquest of, well. Um, obviously France and um, he went over to Britain briefly but lost um, and had to come back um, he was something like eight years late uh, something stupid like that and he came back um, and the river Rubicon he turned around to his army and said we're either going to come out with the world or we're going to suffer the worst possible fate um, so it's the idea it's almost like a do or die kind of thing but um, yeah. the idea of you're going past a point where you, you can't turn back that's it 
um, and you're either going to come out with great success or nothing at all. So does that like represent the album then? I suppose you I'll you you put it you, you put everything on a CD and then you can't go back. Yeah, I I, I I agree with Nick actually. I think it represents the journey that we've gone um, through making this record. Um, so I think I think it represents that. It represents the actually all that we've given up to actually try and achieve this. I think everything as well like all the touring that we've done and you know all the gigs that we're setting up and everything else and it's it's the band as a whole I think rather than just this specific album and I guess people don't realise how much effort you have to put in or the hours you put in rehearsing recording yeah, yeah. you know you say you know, bands come in and people say oh just another band but like there's a lot of work that goes in isn't there I think we worked out it when we were working out all the money we've spent I think it comes to something like 20,000 really we've spent much? on this band um that's you, not including the time. Um, I mean, I, yeah, that's including rehearsals, petrol. You know, we, yeah, we go yeah. on tour yeah. for 30 days. Um, the petrol, it racks up. It really does. Um, and your album and, launch um, gig at, you, at the Y Theatre, I imagine that's expensive as well, isn't it? It will be, yeah. We, I mean, we, we'll have the big projection shows. Um, we'll have... Um, there'll be loads of extras. It'll be, you know, it'll be a very exciting special gig. Um, we'll be showcasing some bits from the second album as well to show the kind of direction we'll be going in with that record um, but um, no that'll be really exciting um, you know it'll be a good turnout as well um, tickets will be available um, from the Wire Theatre box office I think it's in two weeks and the uh, um, gig is on the 19th of December just 19th of December yeah um, so uh, yeah it's, it's going to be great at the Wire Theatre in Leicester ok you've got a guitar in your hands so you just brought it, like, should I? Well, we we kind of guessed you might, actually. We did. We, we were kind of going. Mm. Just come back from work, John. That's all right. Got, got no tracks. Uh, we, it'll bring us guitar. We'll be yeah. all right. We'll see what you can hear, anyway. Um, mm. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll do a track which is also on the album. It's um, one of the slower ones. It's called Wait for Me. Take the time to realize how much it meant to you. Leaving for a while, say goodbyes and say goodbyes and go. Say goodbyes and. Say goodbye, sing, go I'm not meant to feel this way The ties beneath my heartstrings fade So watch you live your life so far If only I could show you how if only I could show you how Say goodbyes and Say goodbyes and go Say goodbyes and Say goodbyes and go Darling in your own sweet way Wrap me around, will gently sway Sit and watch the sun go down Pretend I kept the love we found Cause I'm leaving for a while We'll say goodbyes and We'll say goodbyes and go Waiting for the time 
sé que pasa, no sé que pasa, tengo. Very nice. And that was called Say Goodbye, I guess, was it? No, it's called uh, <laughs> Wait For Me. Oh, Wait For Me, okay. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Penultimate track on the album. And what's really nice is that you smile when you're singing. Yeah, well, 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 I was looking at you, John. I, I can't <laughs> help but smile, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm flattered. With your little headphones yeah, on, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, with big headphones <laughs> on, actually. But, but very nice. Um, Thank you. Um, this guy hasn't spoken. <coughs> Come in here. Jamie, Jamie's not so I in. think he's a suffering at the moment. Well, I, yeah, I think he's a mess. You know when you like, I think he's a mess. You know when the two people have that child that everyone's yeah. been curious has been adopted? Yeah. yeah. Jamie, yeah. Sit, he's sit, like down, that sit, sit there, Jamie. Sit down, oh. sit down, mate. Give me a leg. So just remind us what you're doing in the band again. Uh, I play lead guitar. Lead guitar. Yes. Okay, so that was always what you wanted to do, was it? Yes, yeah, so I've been in a few bands over the years and uh, played lead guitar and really enjoyed it. And then when the opportunity came to join this band, I took it. And, okay, so what's yeah. the history of the band from your point of view then? Um, well, I've been in for just about a year now, and uh, yeah, yeah, lots of touring and writing. Well, and I've not seen you play with them yet. Oh. No, no, you won't have, no. But, uh, well, so I, yeah, think, I think actually, I think Jamie started and we literally went on a on month tour, yeah, tour, I think. Tour, like, <laughs> two days after. I do, yeah, yeah. yeah. He had all his exams. <laughs> it was hilarious watching him in the van. Oh, yeah. oh I better revise for this. <laughs> better learn this. No, it was, uh, it was good fun. Start to the start to the yeah, my time. Well, in you're doing what A levels or something? Well, I finished my A levels last year, but uh, well, no, this year. Oh, I can't even remember. Yeah, this year. Last year. No, last this, year, this year. It is this year. It, it is. Last year. It is. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 we went yeah. on tour. Last. Went on tour. Oh. October, no, beginning last, of, beginning of this year. End of last year. No, beginning of this year. Make a decision. He's, <laughs> a, he's actually the youngest, but he's the only one who can grow a beard. <laughs> yeah, it's shame, unbelievable. Like, it's quite good on it. You know, you've only got bum. Oh, cheers, Nick. Yeah. No, no, I'll I'll shave. Problem is, I I don't grow it on my chin. I get it underneath. And I get a moustache. I don't. I don't want a moustache. You know. <laughs> Ar- Arge actually. Arge is. Um. He's getting. He's preparing oh, no, for he's, November. He's, got, he's cheating. He's, got the, he's, he's cheating. I, I he's had got the wax beard. in it. I had he's a beard in, in the eighties, but I look like Kenny Everett. So when I did <laughs> when I did DJ, I go hello. What was this show? <laughs> I did a lot of that stuff. But Perfect, that, there you go. A, that was an 80s bit, but... Late night love kind of bring thing, you know. I'm happy to bring it back. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, midnight boy here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, Kevin, say something. That, that would be a good look, though, if Arge has got the old... Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 the yeah, end yeah, and everything. The handlebars, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he plays guitar. He's, he's also... Like, he's also like, yeah. Something else about it. He's turned into... He's a Buddhist now. Right. All right. I'm not joking. And he's threatened us a few times that he'd shave his hair off. <laughs> and have a moustache. Um, it's unbelievable. I don't I'd think that's going down well with one of your members of your band, actually. No, it's <laughs> just it's terrifying. It, it, it's just unbelievable. He's, he's one of those. He's convinced he, it's going to look good, though. It, it just won't. Okay. It's an odd one, Arge. Okay, I'm going to move on now. Yeah. Uh, um, let's move on to LA, which is in the title of the next song. Yeah, um, never going to leave LA. Um, or is it? Or is it just last? Fact, we're, we're oh, is, that, is it last? Is it? I'm actually, assuming uh, it's LA. It? Yeah, no, yeah. No, it's, 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 obviously um, meaning Leicester area. Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go, you've already <laughs> solved it. Now. It's, um, no, in fact, we had, I think we had a podcast with um, Greg James and Hugh Stevens, who actually said. Um, something about the title saying it should be never going to go to LA but um, the idea is finding something that you really like and actually you don't want to go away from it um, you know you don't want to leave that um, and I think it's like um, the studio when you leave after the show exactly. it could yeah. be anything yeah, yeah. It, it could mean anything the yeah, place is a good time you don't want to go you know, yeah, yeah that's but that's basically it but uh, you know again I think you can you can put that into any kind of situation you want um, so uh, yeah Okay, let's play the song then. Now we're going to go to... Oh, I'm never going to leave. I'm never gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> I changed the title then. You've already been listening to me, haven't you? You know. Here we go. Far away 
Connect. Hey, Flippin' Eck. Got Flippin' Eck on Sorry, there. Sorry, are we on? Yeah, we were there. Yeah, yeah. But Flippin' Eck. <laughs> how, do, how do I manage it? Don't... Thankfully, yeah, did, I did, did not say up. anything no, too yeah, bad. No, that was all right. Fine, fine. We've realised that our drummer cannot spell never the band name. Anyway, that was I nev- just cannot. That believe. was never going to leave the Leicester area uh, <laughs> uh, by midnight. While we're in the studio on their way out, a quick plug for the gig. Uh, while you're just breaking down in tears in the corner there. Um, December nineteenth, Leicester Y Theatre. Um, tickets are available. Box office about two weeks. Um, come on down. Should be a well, it will be a great show. Really looking forward to it. Okay, well, that time. Kevin's got the week off next week. Yeah, uh, but we've got uh, a full show again. Uh, the fates yeah. are on, and we've got a young lady. Luana as well. Who, who 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 sang in the remix of Left Freak. Yeah, by a Nar Rogers production as well. Yeah. So uh, time to go. We'll hear from uh, Giovanni about the uh, sports show coming up next. But here, shake it, baby, midnight wire while they're still recovering. Check it, baby. Don't forget, they're at the White Theatre on the 19th of December. Check them out. They're good. Giovanni, who's uh, also good, is coming up with a sports show after seven. He's going to tell us a bit about it right now. Yeah, thanks, John. A uh, great show, by the way. It's a room full of people in here. It's unbelievable. It's like a tin of sardines around here. Uh, busy show tonight. Colville in action. Also, we have Shepshire Dynamo, Hinkley AFC, Ellis Town Impstock United. We're keeping on all the uh, European action as well. That's all coming up after seven. De- further details in around five minutes' time. OK, news is next. Shake, shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. Shake it, shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. Shake it, shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. Northwest Leicestershire on 99.2 FM and online at hermitagefm.com. This is Hermitage FM News.